once you have the basic framework snapped together, and again, you may have one that isn't quite all the way in. When you flip it over, you should be able to just step down from this side so that it's flush. We'll use our hands here, but we're just going to wipe off any loose dirt or lint that might be on the outer edges. Now with the 14 Velcro or 12 Velcro. So with the Velcro, you can start on either side of the goal. Use your fingers to make sure the Velcro is centered. It doesn't matter which side goes up, the hook or the loop. You just want to make sure that it's flush on the sides. So you're going to peel the protective backing off of the one side. After the goal is set, you don't want to put it on the end. You want to come slightly inside of where the goal partition is. Then we're doing the centers. Just repeat that as we go around. Again, just slightly inside of where the goal begins. Once this goes down, this is very sticky, so you want to make sure you're careful and place it in the right position. And then you should have a couple extras. Then once you have all of your Velcro where they belong, you're simply going to lay the sheeting down. If you have two people to help you, or one, it's always better. Otherwise, you want to line this up there should be a little overhang, equal on both sides, and past the goal. You come down to the other end, make sure you have it centered. Plenty of extra. One thing you also want to make sure is that the game is straight. Make sure it's square on the ends. You got equal distance down there? Yep. We come back here, making sure we have the same. Once you have this squared all the way around, just lift this corner making sure nothing else moves, lay it right back down, bringing that over to the other corner, same process, lay it right back down. Now, if you're doing this by yourself, come down to this end, and again, 
making sure you're square. Pull any slack out that you can. Lift the corner, peel off the protective backing, and let this part come down to the other corner. Once all four corners are done, now you'll have some slack in here and simply peel the protective backing off. Pressing firmly down, you can come around to the side here, peel off the protective backing there and here. Same thing, press down evenly. Again, you'll have this separation. If you're real close, you can just bend the partition in just a little bit to pull some slack out. And we have two more. Once you have attached the bottom playing surface, simply flip it over. And now you can apply a little weight. Just be careful. You can let this cure 24 hours before you try to take it apart. And just a little extra weight will give some good adhesion. And that's how simple it is to put together the box. Next is attaching the nets. These are the new nets. As you can see, they have slight right angle. If you take this with the edge that has a quarter inch extra to it, this will go down. The right angles will go towards the game. You simply put the end in, bend this back, and allow that to clip into place. Flip the game around. We'll do that one more time. Have the edge facing in, this edge facing down. We'll do it the other way this time, starting here. Put that right angle piece in. Once you have that in, bring this back, bend it in the middle, and it will snap into place.